Here is a design for the front of a house in Oregon in the United States. You may notice down here at the bottom of the screen, and let's zoom in on it, the designer has put both a top and a side view of a design for a fountain. And if we go to water feature, you can see here is a sectional view showing a pump and extra cross supports and so on. You may notice that the leader that's been used here has a gap in there. Let's return to the model and let's zoom in. So that leader that's selected is or has been created in a dimension style called Bentley Water Feature. So that style is, is, is currently set and is Whenever we use the leader command, it will be drawn that way with that little gap. You may be able to see here that I've modified the dimension style and fixed that little problem up. It was done by going dimensions, dimension style. I made a few little minor changes. I went to units here and said overall scale for dim features. I left at one. When I came back to text here, I set the text height at 0.2. And when I did that, now back here, and we'll make that the current style, the leader now behaves normally without any gap. Let's just throw one in. So dimensions, leader, say from that edge there to there, and pop it in like so, and it's gone in in the current dimension style, and the head of the leader line works fine. There's rather too large a gap between the piece of text there and the leader line itself. So again, fix that up in the dimension style. So dimension style, it will be geometry, our offset from the origin. Let's bring that down to 0.2. I changed the offset here beyond the dim lines. I should have clicked on text here and changed it there. And I'll change it here if that was 0.5, I'll change to 0.1 there. And what you should see is that when we draw a new leader line, it's fixed up those when we draw a brand new leader line. So it's to, it now has all of the offsets in the position that I would like them to be.